Yo, what's going on guys? So just had a long day at work, man. I need to have a beer. I've been thinking about this one for the longest time. This is the Juice Lord by Lord Hobo, Lord Hobo Brewing. It's an IPA, but it's only 6%. I'm just guessing that this thing is gonna be crushable. As far as the brewery goes, I have never been there, although it's on my list. I definitely wanna go there and check it out. I don't know if this is the first beer that I've had from them. I'd have to check my own tap, but like, let's dig into this, dude. I'm super excited for this. That's it. Wow, smells uh, smells citrusy. That's for sure. I mean, anything with the word juice in it, you probably gotta, you know, it's gotta have some type of citrus in it. This is from Woburn, Woburn, Massachusetts. If I'm saying that right, if I'm not, I'm sorry. I can't pronounce a lot of Massachusetts towns for, to be completely honest. Oh my God. It's so refreshing. Crushable. It's sweet. A lot of citrus. It's definitely juicy. Like this is a really juicy beer. It's like a spiked orange juice. <laughs> That's kind of like what it tastes like, except you don't really get a lot of boozy. Um, you don't get a boozy flavor. So when I say spiked juice, I just mean juice with alcohol, but you're really not getting you're really not getting a boozy taste with this beer. You're getting just, just juice. This is super good. It's not hoppy at all. This is another one of those type of beers where it's an IPA, but doesn't really have a lot of IPA aspects to it. I would definitely say that this is a New England IPA. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's definitely a New England IPA. It looks like a New England IPA. That hazy cloudiness, and it tastes like a New England IPA. Citrusy, juicy, definitely saying that this is a New England IPA. Let's uh, let's check the untapped. It's got 8.3 thousand um, ratings on, on untapped. It's averaging a 3.78. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I'm surprised that um, in the untapped world, this, this beer wouldn't be rated higher than that. I think 3.78 is a fair rating. It's definitely not a four, it's not in the four category. It's a good beer, I definitely recommend it, but it's funny, the top guidelines. Juicy, tropical, light, crushable, and hoppy. I do not agree with that hoppy part. This beer is not hoppy. You wanna talk about hoppy, I got hoppy beers y'all can try. Episode one and episode two, those are very hoppy beers. I don't consider this beer hoppy at all. It is juicy, it's sweet, it's crushable. I mean, you, you can just, right down the hatch, man. So I wouldn't say it's hoppy, but the juicy, tropical, light, and crushable part, absolutely, you're getting that with this beer. They don't have much of a description on, on uh, Untapped about this beer either, but it is a, like I said, it is a New England IPA, New England style, says it right there. So we were right about that. It is very sweet. And that's probably why my rating isn't gonna be the highest, is because it's a little too sweet to where it's kind of taking away the beer aspect of it, but I will say this is very delicious. It's very, very, very delicious. It's very tasty. Whatever they used for this sweet, crushable, juicy flavor, they really did a good job on it. If you're coming home from work and you want to have like a beer and you just want that like, yeah, it's not really a beer. It is a beer, but it's not, it, 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 it's so sweet it takes away the uh, the beer aspect of it. Now don't get me wrong, I've had sweeter beers to where like, ugh. Like so I'm, I'm not gonna sit there and say that they totally fucked this beer up. They didn't, they didn't. Like it's, it's sweet and it's a little over sweet but not overly sweet to where you're just like, oh nope, this is like, not what I want. I think the majority of the people who like hazy IPAs might really like this. The majority of the people who like juicy IPAs will really like this beer. It's light, it's only 6%, so you gotta think like, dude, what's 6%? I mean, 6% is like a Bud Light Platinum. So, yeah, it's, it's crushable, and it's not hoppy. It's sweet, it's juicy, it's delicious. It is a delicious beer. It's delicious. I mean, it's written all over the can, Juice Lord, you know? They even, even the color of the can, like you know that this is just a, 
th this just screams out like sweet, you know? It kind of looks like a pink starburst. It's just screaming right there. So um, I think that they created what they wanted to create and it's all preference. I don't like something this sweet. I'll give them that it is very delicious. But for me, when I want a beer, I don't want to have something this sweet. So this attack, this attacks a certain crowd. So let's get into my ratings. I'm thinking 3.25, but at the same time, they really did make this a, a delicious, sweet beer. I'm not not enjoying this beer. It, it, I'm enjoying it. It's good. It, it's, it's weird because I don't like beers this sweet and that's why my rating's kind of going low. Would I buy this again? Yeah, I would buy this again. I think that this is the type of beer that I would be like, you know what, this is good on a certain occasion. If I'm out barbecuing and it's hot and it's like, you know what, I need a beer that I can just crush. This is kind of going to be my go-to for that. I really feel like that. It. This is the best juicy, crushable IPA that I've ever had. But at the same time, it's really not my favorite style. Man, this is, uh, this is really weird for me, guys. This is really weird. I've had a lot of juicy IPAs. They, they, they did a good job with this. So I was thinking 3.25, but the more I drink it, the more I kind of admire it. And like I said, it's not gonna be a beer that I drink every day. It would be something that I have for a certain occasion, probably just sweating like a pig, need a goddamn drink to chug. Yeah, I'd grab this. I'm gonna go with a 3.5, guys, you know? Um, I wanna give it a 3.25 because, uh, you know, it's not my favorite style, but they did a really good job that I kind of want to give it a 3.75. So I'm like, you know what, let's just meet it in the middle. I'm going to give this beer a 3.5. That was the beer review for today. I don't even know what episode we're on right now. I think it's like, I'm recording more episodes than I am editing. It's just like, drink a beer, record it, drink a beer, record it, drink a beer, record it. And then it's just like, edit next week, edit next week, edit. So I don't even know what episode this is going to be yet. All I know, Juice Lord, Lord Hobo Brewing, you guys did a good job with this beer, you did. Even though it's not my favorite style, I'm tipping my hat to the fact that you made a really delicious, juicy IPA. You tackled this beer, it's written all over the can, looks like a goddamn pink Starburst, Juice Lord. Yeah, it is, this is the Juice Lord. This really is the Juice Lord. Thank you for watching this video. If you really like this, I drop a beer review video, the New England Brew with you. I drop one, I drop that video every Friday. So if you like this video, please subscribe, like, comment, get involved. I really appreciate it, guys. It'll help out the channel. I'm just trying to do the best that I can here. And I, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I hope you all like these videos. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you for the next episode, guys, man. Peace.